Hey what up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more CK2 action. Um, I'm still playing on the previous patch, uh, which is, I can't even remember what what version it is, but it's not the, the most up to date one where the Dothraki are available, because obviously the save game won't carry over, so I want to finish this up, which we'll probably do in probably the next hour. I'm planning on probably recording about an hour's worth of footage and then just calling it quits there, because I feel like in an hour we can probably, we can probably do quite a few stuff. Um, obviously when my mum dies we'll, in we'll inherit the reach which will be awesome and then we'll just slowly maybe try to take a few pieces of land from the Lannisters and maybe around King's Landing maybe the Crown Lands or something and then we'll probably just call it quits there I feel like that'll be a good idea so we need a new Master at Law which I just got we can probably start fabricating claims on something important. Let's just go ahead and try gain King's Landing. Because the cool thing is, as soon as I inherit the Reach, I also get all of their claims as well, which I can hopefully press. Um, I just need to make sure I don't I don't mess it up or anything. So let's look at who dislikes me and who likes me. Okay, so he, the, the dude of Seaguard really does not like me. Where even is Seaguard? So it's up here. I'm pretty sure you're newly appointed. Can we just kill you? We can. Does your air like us? Your air does like us. Let's just go ahead and have this dude uh, murdered. Because it will just be a lot easier than spending money and all that stuff trying to make him like us. Let's also commission a, a spectacle uh, which will speak of my father, King Eddard, and his, uh, his greatness in battle. Um, I don't really want it to speak of me because I am just slowly, I'm just starting, I'm just coming out to become my own man. Uh, you're fighting. Uh, don't, who do you like me? Uh, I'll do him to stand down. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Is there someone over here? Because by the looks of it, he had a crown land symbol. Hmm. Who knows? Dangerous factions, that's all cool. Everyone's in love with me. I have a load of claims which I can press. Don't really want to declare war in the Riverlands. I mean, in the Reach anytime soon. Also, can press claims on the Summer Islands as well, but don't really want to do that. That just seems like a lot of effort. So yeah, our king of the moment is King Rodwell. So I think we've had three generations. So we had we had Rob, and then we had Eddard, and now we're on Rodwell. So yeah, this is the third generation of Starks coming down from Rob, which is kind of cool. And we haven't really done that much since... I'm pretty sure Rob gained all of his kingdom. Eddard died in battle, did he not? He died of plague at the age of 31. So Eddard didn't really get a chance to do that much. Hopefully... Obviously, Rodwell, as I'm hoping, will end it with him. He'll be able to do a lot of stuff. Um, just trying to see. Do we have claims on the crag? We don't, which is annoying. I'm pretty sure we had at some point. Oh, we do. Yeah, we have all claims on the crag. Press all claims. Yeah, let's just go ahead and try and claim the crag, then. That seems like a good idea. Actually, no, first things first. We need to make him like us. He really doesn't like us. Why don't you like us? Let's see, is there any land I've got? Because he's a claimant on the north, so he dislikes us massively, and because I'm ambitious as well. So that's minus 100 straight off the bat, which is just annoying. Uh, can we give you a gift? So let's go ahead and try to give you some money, as we have a lot of it. So we might as well. Um, claims on ruins. I'm not kind of 100% sure whether I want to do that yet. Right, let's send you a gift. Hopefully that'll make you like us a lot more. Likes us a little bit more. Is there anything else I can do? Let's see. Can I grant you? I can't grant you any titles, which is annoying. I could offer to educate you. Um, it's perfect. I gained 200 prestige. Uh, in memory, it's supposed to, that's supposed to be a massive eye. In memory of Eddard, uh, commissions, just how stark and stuff. So that improves my diplomacy by two which is lovely for how many years for two years and gives plus 10 opinion and as soon as um the baron of the riverlands comes under my care in six days or four days he will obviously like me another 20 and then then over the course of me educating him he will then hopefully uh, learn to adore me and all as well as that did you just accept it? Yeah, you did. Cool. So yeah, he's only minus seven now. So hopefully, as well as that, he will then become uh, really friendly with my son as well. Because the cool thing about the Game of Friends mod is the fact that when you are educated at the court of some of like of like other heirs, you become friends of them and they become lifelong friends. So when say the <laughs> sorry about that, guys, for whatever reason, I just had like a really random coughing fit. But yes, yeah, so <laughs> as I was saying. Um, 
yeah, so hopefully he'll then become best friends with my son, uh, Hugo, as they grow, um, grow up together, and that'll give them a lifelong bond, hopefully. Which, which is really cool, which this mod actually does. Uh, we killed him as well, which is lovely. Um, who's now? Yeah, now he likes us, so that's brilliant. Um, yeah, which is just, it's just a really cool feature they added in for this, uh, for the mod. Because it kind of gets that whole, uh, like, Eddard and Robert kind of feel in it. That they're all friends and they're friends for life. And they may not like each other later on, but they do. They have built a bond, a bond of honour to each other. Which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, now he likes us. Let's look at our vassal management. So, quite a few people dislike us again. Not quite sure why. Because I'm a foreigner? Or she, I guess, I assume she's a foreigner. Where even is that? That's in the Crown Lands. Okay, cool. So, the main thing is making Baron like us, really. That's what we want to do. So, let's go ahead and hold a feast. I feel like that would be the smartest thing to do. He might not come, but if he does decide to come, then it's brilliant. He will then, hopefully, like us a lot from the feast. Hopefully we can impress him. And then you can see, see how many Northmen just love me. All the Northern clans love me, which is brilliant. That's kind of the main thing. As long as, long as I hold my seat in the North, that's really all that matters. We can also just speed up as well. Whilst we're just doing this, like, battle management at the moment. Uh, obviously I'll spend lavishly on the food. Don't want my guests to go hungry. Invite everyone. Now let's hope he comes. Uh, didn't really expect her to come. But we can also just murder her, I'm sure. Yeah, 540%. Her heir will go to him. He likes me a lot more, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and try and murder her. Could just clean the vassals. This is something that you expect to happen, really, bro. Um, because, obviously, when a new kingdom comes of ages, a lot of people won't like you. Yeah, I can take that penalty pretty easily, the drunkard. Um, Cool, so we're actually converting people, which is brilliant. Let's have a look at religion. That's something I normally just forget about. Uh, we also got a claim on King's Landing as well. So obviously we're going to press that, gain the seat of King's Landing. That would be brilliant. Yeah, even if that's just that one province, that's, that's cool. I mean, it means I can have a seat at King's Landing, which is awesome. Yeah, let's go ahead and make him patient. He's also ambitious as well. But yeah, he is starting to like us because we're, get, we're getting him good traits, which is brilliant. Uh, we did fail. Does she know it's me? Does it say attempted murder? It does not, which is nice. She's also zealous, which is kind of annoying. That's really hurting me. Prove a plan again. Hopefully we can go about killing her. My mother as well is really living long. <laughs> She's fucking 59 now. As soon as she dies, though, we inherit all of that. Hopefully I can also claim the crag as well, that would be a really nice addition. Uh, we did manage to kill her, which is nice. So yeah, he likes us minus three, but that, that's easily sorted. Just send him a bit of money. Yeah, and he, then now he's the only one disliking me. And then as soon as we do give him some money, he'll start paying tax. And actually giving a decent amount of uh, retinue as well. Which is brilliant. Yeah, so now he loves us. Um... Yeah, everyone likes us in the kingdom, which is good. They're probably going to dislike me for a little bit because I'm going to be raising their men. I might just raise, I might just raise the veils men. I'm thinking because if I do that, uh, screw the king. If I do that, then uh, sixteen thousand men just against that, pretty much. Yes, yeah, so it's not even against that many men. So let's go ahead and claim the crag. I feel like that would be a really nice addition. So let's go ahead and raise some men. 16,000 men. Let's go ahead and march them over. That should be plenty. I feel like it should be plenty. Because it's not exactly like they're very big at the moment. The Lannisters are just, yeah, awfully tiny. They have like five counties under their control. Which should just get absolutely demolished by the might of the North. So yeah, so after claiming the crag, you'll be able to, we'll, another king, Jesus. Uh, you'll be able, we'll have all of this, I'm actually touching the screen, which obviously you can't see. We'll have all of this land, which will be brilliant. That's three counties under our, our control. And that must be giving us close to, 
like, we must be able to usurp this soon. We don't have a load of land. Um, does it not say how much percent we need? Uh, it's because we're at war as well, so it obviously won't show up. That's slightly annoying. Our men are coming over as well, so let's go ahead and give ourselves commanders when we auto save is done. Hopefully I can have a nice siege commander in here somewhere. Um, it's annoying that I got that trait. That kind of sucks. Do we have any siege commanders? Because that would be brilliant if we did. By the looks of it, though, we do not. Which is just annoying. I literally love having a siege commander in the army so much because it just makes sieges so much quicker. It's crazy. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just pick the best marshal then. Marshal leaders. Uh, let's go ahead, the king, the, the king of the Vale. Oh, he won't lead the armies. I'll switch it around in a second. Um, I also kind of want someone who's got good dueling traits. A heal guy in the middle, yeah. That sounds like a cool idea. Okay, cool. That's decently set up. So let's go ahead and start besieging the crag. What is the supply limit? It is 16k. So as soon as we do reach these lands, we should stop suffering attrition. Oh, what are you fighting for as well? They're attacking claims on crack call. So what are they trying to get? Oh, if I click on the war, I'm pretty sure it shows up, does it not? So they're trying to crack call. So they're trying to claim all of this, which I'm pretty sure they just won. They did just win, yeah. Well, that's cool. So they, they're taking land for me as well. Did my wife die? No. Did she give birth to our baby? She did. We had a daughter. Which is fine. But we need to remarry them. Because I want to have plenty... Ooh, let's see what we get. I want to have plenty of children. Uh, we got nothing. We just lost the trait. I can claim the Stormlands for my son as well. That is... I kind of want to... No. I'm a lunatic. No. Did I gain lunatic? Fuck, I did. That isn't good. Uh, so let's go ahead and pause it quickly. What I'm going to do is, I guess because, yeah, it's a woman in charge. So let's go ahead and just declare war for my son to gain the Stormlands. That is my son. Just double checking. Yes, it is. Cool. We can't because we have, oh, we have levies raised. So we really just need to finish this war ASAP. Maybe my wife will maybe press for war. I mean, my, my mum will press for claim. I also want to find another wife as well. We should probably do that. Just I literally anyway, you're quick, it's cool. Four. You are sitting in the floor of your bed chambers wearing one of your shoes as a hat when suddenly a man sees a uh, sized goofer enters the room in dresses as a maid. I'm just going crazy, this is not too good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to start sieging these holdings because I need the war to hurry up and end. Uh, travelers bring news about her dragons. So the dragons are in Westeros, which are kind of cool. And he's learning how to fight, which again is cool. Now let's go ahead and just besiege all these holdings, because I need to just get 100% so we can go ahead and claim the Stormlands for my son. I can't believe I've become a lunatic, though. What are the chances? Rodwell will be a good lunatic king. Especially when we claim the Stormlands as well for my son. That all then got under me because obviously I am an Emperor and he'll be becoming a Lord Paramount. Or well, I'm a King and he's a Lord Paramount. Uh, we can't really besiege that because it's just way too many. Yeah, so let's go ahead and find a wife quickly. Uh, let's just, instead of doing that, let's go to find character. Uh, search all gender woman in prison. No. Married. No, I'm not quite sure why it's lagging a bit. Uh, any doesn't really matter. Mm, any. Any. Adult. Yes. Great house doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's go ahead and find... Yeah, she's a genius, but she's 52, so... Probably not the best idea. Why are all the geniuses so old? Why I wanna... I wanna know that. she a pirate? She is a pirate. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see any good they're all so old you are young and you've got 19 yeah let's go to marry you you're a wildling though probably not the best idea but why not I found love you have really high yeah you have really high skills let's go ahead and marry why not I'll lose a load of prestige for it <laughs> why was she sure so no 
Why? What a bitch. Screw her. For who? My son? No, I am educating my son. <laughs> He'll soon become king of the Stormlands, so... Oh no, I don't want to marry Why am I trying to marry him? I've gone mad. I'm a lunatic, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, this war really needs to hurry up and end. Pentos have actually invaded as well. Pentos are getting pretty big. I swear that, or maybe it was another game, because I was playing this the other day, and Pentos literally invaded like the whole of the uh, whole of Dawn. They gained it. Uh, let's not assemble the mob because I don't really want to fight any republics at the moment. We also have so much money, but there's not really much point spending it. Like this is going to be over soon. We might as well. Why not? We have it. Might as well use it. The siege of the crag is almost over. And it obviously will go in our favour. I don't want to kind of throw away that many men straight away. But the Lannisters literally have nothing to put up a fight, so... That's fine for me. Gives us all the lovely war score. Hopefully we can make him diligent. And he did get diligent. And he dislikes us, why? It's because I'm a lunatic. It's probably because I'm a lunatic. Legion, yeah, minus 25. That's not good. Let's look at Vassal Opinion. Whoa! Some people really don't like me. Why? Everyone hates me. Jesus Christ. Why? Even White Harbor dislikes me. Why? Bunch of dicks. Well, I don't really need money, so let's go ahead and lower... Going to lie about to minimum. <laughs> I am going crazy because what I'm planning on doing is I'm getting everyone. Hopefully, I can get everyone's opinion high enough that the minimum levies don't really matter. Or is that maximum levies? I'm pretty sure that was maximum levies. Let's go ahead and cancel that. That was my bad. Yeah, max. Yeah, so obviously we want it medium. We don't really need money right at the moment, so we could probably move down tax. Of the laws down to minimum because we're we're getting a load of money and procedures as well. So let's go to low attacks. And we also need a wife. Hopefully if we find a wife, people will then like us. Um is there anyone in Dawn who would be more than happy to marry me? I think I've been a skilled fighter, so he should start to like us, hopefully. Do you have any children? You do have a children. She's thirteen with her stutter. Why not? Let's marry. If he will allow it. So I only have to wait two. Why? Does no one want to marry me? <laughs> Is it because I'm a lunatic? Let's see him auto save. Unlikely to have children. Why? Don't be rude. Uh, patience really good, but brave is also very good. Yes, we got him brave. Brilliant. That's really good. Um, so we've almost won this. Like it can't be that much longer. We can assault this as well really easily. As soon as this war's over, we need to we need to do vassal management again, and then we need to claim my land for the stormlands. I need to claim my son's land in the stormlands. Yeah, this is just easy sieging, and it's also given us a load of money. And then after this, I've besieged the whole of the crag. Gains Ruffle. Ruffle isn't that bad. It does give him a bit of marshal. Which is always nice. We can't, I don't think we can throw away our men, our men away in that siege. So I'm not going to. So whilst that's happening, we will try and make people like us a little bit more. So the most important people are people in my own lands. He can become master of the hunt. Or why not? Uh, you need to like us. Pretty good about your men levied as well. Let's go ahead and see if we can send you some money. Uh, you guys need to like me. White Harbour does always give you a lot of men, so... <laughs> he enjoys the money, so he now likes me, which is good. We just need to build on this. We need to keep on having feasts when everyone likes me, so we can just keep on building. 
up on it. Lady of the Dreadfort, you must be dying soon. Let's have a look. Can we murder her? Um, I don't want to fucking kill everyone. Because she's 52 and we can kill her. So let's just go and kill her. I have gone pretty mad with power. This, this episode is probably the first episode that I've actually decided to... Uh, are you going to give me the crag? Um, yes, you are. Lovely. Ooh, we gained all of that land as well. We gained this land, I'm pretty sure. Can we just disband these men? Uh, excellent news, more money. Yes, yeah, so let's go and disband. So yeah, we gained the whole of a crag. We also gained this. I think one of these bits of land. Or just ha Sunder Harrenhal, apparently. And my dementia size is too big. Ooh, the crag. I need to give that away to someone. Let's go ahead and give that to someone who kind of doesn't like me, but will like me eventually. Just want to say, because this is becoming a lunatic has not been good for me. Someone important. Lady of the Dreadport. Oh, we're going to kill the Lady of the Dreadport. Let's go to the Umbers. Uh, what do I do? Granted land. High Lordship of the Crag. Okay now, so she owns all of that because I don't need to. There's literally no point in me owning it. I might as well give away Lannisport as well to someone. Because that's just the wrong dimensions size. So we don't really need that. The Lord of Harrenhal has a lot of land. So it would probably be a good idea to give him that bit of land as well. Um... Just because he, he can probably raise a lot of men. And now he likes us, which is brilliant. We're also going to award him Keeper of the Swans. And we also send him some money as well. I feel like sending him money will be a, a really good idea. We're also going to slow it down as well. Because quite a lot of stuff is happening. Vassal management wise. Uh, new Maester, which is fine. Uh, we also need to... Let's go ahead and go Opinion. Um, or oh, Opinion. That's not what we want. See who really doesn't like us. So people need to focus on making like us. It's probably the twins needs to be. Oh, the twins probably needs to be focused on at the moment. You really don't like us, Acorn Ridge. Can we murder you? Oh, you probably can. Your son is indifferent about us as well. So probably the smartest thing to do is to make the Lord Paramounts like us actually, because if these dudes like us, they're then giving us the most men, and it just kind of snowballs. I can fight any rebellion which does pop up. So let's go ahead after the auto save and get new Master of Whispers. It's kind of scary that our Masters of Whisper died. Because I'm not quite sure what he died of and I can't be bothered to look. <laughs> but hopefully you can find a reason why. Nine plots, anything I should be worrying about. It's buying people's loyalty. I can still claim Stormlands as well. My mother still hasn't died. Hurry up and die. Um, Acorn Ridge hates me. Let's hold a feast. I know quite a few people won't actually end up coming to the feast, but the people who do, I feel like the majority of people who do hate me will end up coming, and hopefully we can make things right there. Uh, obviously we'll spend as much money as possible. Look at all these independent places in Westerlands, that's crazy. Each one of these guys are independent. I really want to take this as well. I really want to take the Golden Road because it's a big old chunk. Oh God, I'm going so crazy. We also have a truce which is kind of annoying. I can claim the Westerlands for who? Who are you? You own that, you're, you're in the kingdom, you don't actually own it, which is unfortunate. Oh, that's not good. A lot of people just disliked me from that. I kind of just even, I don't know. No, people are starting to like me again. It's just certain people we need to murder who just like me. Like, if you die, that'll be good because he likes me 31. Oh, hopefully we can murder her and we can move on to killing other people who dislike us. And do we have a nice happy realm? How is my son doing as well? 
six eight two three three. It's not bad. Everyone's come to the feast. There's some people, who, yeah. So it's about three people who didn't want to come to the feast. The rest have. So that kind of segregates them to people I need to murder, which is nice. But yeah, we've already taken a crag this episode, which is brilliant. Probably next episode we'll finish off making people like us, and when that happens, we'll also get married, and then we'll marry, and then we'll go ahead and claim the Stormlands. Because then we'll get to Jura claims on all of this land, uh, which will just be brilliant for my son. And then we'll focus on just taking out the Westerlands and then Crown Lands and then that's it pretty much. Dawn can chill. I like Dawn, they can be independent. So, so yeah, it's only a few people who just like us. And all the important people as well like us. That's pretty much all that matters, as long as the important people like us. And we can just murder everyone else. Cool, well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you enjoy this, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. There will probably be about two more episodes of this series. And then I will go ahead and go on and play on the Dothraki on the new patch. And just have lots of fun with that. And then after that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, so just go ahead and leave a comment and a like. That would be brilliant. And I'll see you guys next time. So yeah, for sure.